Hi everyone, David here from Handwritten. Today I want to walk through one of the most asked about topics on our platform, sending notes in bulk. Whether you're sending two notes or 2,000, our system makes it easy and flexible. There's actually two ways to send notes in bulk. The first is to use the send button and simply add multiple recipients. The second is to use the bulk send tool. Using this tool, we upload a complete Microsoft Excel spreadsheet of notes to send out. This is a more flexible option, but does take a little getting used to. Both options let you take advantage of all of Handwritten's features, including custom signatures, inserting gift cards, inserting business cards, and even scheduling notes in advance. Let's walk you through both methods so you can determine which one works best for you. Now let's start with the easiest way to send a note in bulk, and that is using the standard send tool. First, let's find a card we like. I like this craft thank you note. I think I'm gonna send it to a few people I've recently met with. So to start my bulk send, I'm gonna click the send button. And then I'm just gonna start typing as I would a normal note. Now, unlike a normal note, at this point, what I need to do, and this is really the only difference, is insert a merge tag, an orange tag, instead of typing in the person's name. This way, if I send the note to five people, each of those five people will have a message that is tailored to them. So I'm just gonna hit the first name field, include their first name in the message, and then just continue as I normally would. I'm going to add my sign off. And as I'm playing Rob Petrie in this account, I'm just going to say Rob. Now, if I had a signature on file for Rob, I could use that as well. But in this case, we're just not going to use signatures. If you're interested in signatures and would like to work with handwritten to create one, simply contact us. We'd be happy to set that up for you. Now that this note looks good, I'm ready to move to the next step. Now, unlike a standard note that you'd send out where you select one recipient, in a bulk send, you select multiple. So here I'm gonna select John, Jimmy, and Jennifer as I met them at the J conference yesterday. In fact, I met one more person at that conference, Jerome, who is not in this list. So we're gonna to have to go ahead and add Jerome. To do that, simply click the Add New Recipient button, write in their name, now, it's very important when you type in the name to separate out the first name and the last name. This allows you to use that merge tag so, so you can customize the note, Dear Jerome. Without separating out first name and last name, you really don't have that ability. I'm adding Jerome Fisher, his address, and we're good to go. Now, in addition to the J's, I wanted to add a few more people to this campaign. So to do that, instead of typing in each person individually, I want to upload a bulk spreadsheet. To do that, you simply click Add New Recipient, scroll down, and you have an option here to upload an Excel sheet. By clicking here, you can download that spreadsheet. I already have it downloaded. So let me just show you what it looks like. The spreadsheet is very simple. You simply have first name, last name, business, address, city, state, zip, country, and birth date, all separated out in separate spreadsheet columns. Business name is optional. So is address line two and birth date. Birth date is special and used for campaigns where you want to send people birthday cards in a given month or on a certain day. We're not going to get into that now, but feel free to play around with the system or reach out to a account manager at Handwritten if you need assistance. I've gone ahead and added two contacts to this upload, Carla and Kelly. I've added their addresses. I have only added one birth date. We're gonna go ahead and upload this spreadsheet into the system so you can just see how easy it is to add bulk addresses in bulk. So it did in fact add them, Kelly and Carla, to the system. We just check them off and they're added to the bulk send. Next, you choose a send date. We're gonna leave ours as today, which is the soonest possible send date. 
we have the option to add a gift card just like any other uh, note in handwritten. And in this account, we have custom inserts. We're going to go ahead and add my business card, or rather Rob's business card, to this campaign. If you want us to send your business cards for you, simply get in touch with your account manager at Handwritten, and they'd be happy to set this up. So now we're on the checkout screen. If this looks like pretty much any other checkout screen, except if you notice here, it says one of six. That's because there's actually six notes in this campaign. We can page through them here and you'll see the name of the recipient changes, as does the message, thanks to that merge field. If you want to see the full preview, click Preview. Now, you do have the option to send a special request to Handwritten to, for instance, send the notes back to you, sealed and ready to go, but allowing you to drop them in the mail, or perhaps you want them unsealed so you can insert something else in there. Whatever that special request is, type it in there and uh, it's clearly optional and we'll do our best to accommodate. Now we're just gonna go ahead and order the bulk and off they go. And now you've completed your first send with multiple recipients or a first bulk note send. Now I'm going to show you the second more powerful way to send bulk, and that's using the Bulk Send button next to any card. To do this, simply click Bulk Send. The Bulk Upload tool walks you step by step through sending a mass campaign. The first thing you'll notice is this pricing grid here. The main price for the thank you note is $3.25. However, using the Bulk tool, you can actually get pretty good discounts. If you send between 10 and 24, they're 293. If you send over 100 or 100 or more, it's $2.60. The first thing you're going to do is upload a spreadsheet of notes. We're going to walk through that in some detail right now. So let's get started. First, to download the spreadsheet, click here to download it. Then we're going to open that up and we're going to get started. The, the spreadsheet has four tabs, Instructions, Basic, Advanced, and Template. Advanced and Template really go together. We'll walk through that in a second. The instructions are the, probably the most important. Feel free to review these. They're rather short. And the most important thing is where it says, feeling lost, call us, and we'll be happy to help. The main tab is the Basic tab. It should seem pretty straightforward what you need to do. You put in your return address, full name. So we are Rob Petrie your business, which is optional, address line one, address line two, city, state, and zip, country, and then the two address name. So we are going to do Jane Smith. Unlike the other send tool, we keep both the first and last name together here. It seems to be easier that way. We are adding the ability to split that out in the future, and we'd be happy to walk you through that then. We can leave the business blank. Address line one, address line two, city. We'll just call this Chicago, Illinois, 60614. The message is where you type in the complete message on the basic tab. So here, I'm going to type, dear... Jane. And then on Windows, you hit Alt-Enter to enter a new line. On Mac, it's the Option key, Enter. You just type in your note. The next cell is the send date. This is really a send date override. You'll have a chance to upload these notes and select a send date, but if you want this particular line, line two, to go out on a different date, you would just enter a send date there. Now, I'm going to repeat this process for multiple people. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back over to the beginning. I'm just going to copy this row, and I'm going to paste it down three times so I don't have to re-enter my return address information. And this one will go to Jim Jones, Frank Zappa, whoops, and Gary Coleman. We will put in addresses. 
That's fine. They can all go to the same place. And then we'll just edit the message. So this one is Jim. Thank you so much for your time. I enjoyed our chat. All the best, Rob. The next one is Frank. Sorry I missed you. Oh, and then the final one is Gary. So what you'll notice here is every single message, and you could have thousands of these, could be totally different. Now, does this save you a lot of time? It really depends on your situation. But we find some users find the basic tab the easiest way to send notes. Now I'm going to walk you through the advanced tab. The advanced tab is very similar to the basic tab in most respects. You have a return address, business, address line one, address line two. All the addressing information is identical to the basic tab. Where it gets interesting are these orange columned uh, cells. So the message is the most unique. Here it says message, don't change directly. And if you'll notice, there's a huge formula in there. So you definitely don't want to mess with that cell. You then have the send date, just like on the basic tab. And then you have what are called replacement keys and replacement values. We're going to get into that in a second. You actually have four of them, which means you can replace four pieces of information in the note on every line. So to do that, you click the template. And please bear with me, this is not as difficult as it seems. So we go over to the template and we enter our note. Dear, and then instead of typing somebody's name, we do brace brace name. We include the copy of the note, and then we do brace brace from, because we want to dynamically include who it's from. Now I'm gonna change this. I'm just gonna do Rob, because all notes are gonna come from Rob. But what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna say, pretend that this is for a donation campaign. So I'm going to say, thank you for your donation of and here what it's going to do is it's going to replace the amount with the dollar value of the donation. And once you get the hang of this, you can find all sorts of use cases for the uh, replacement keys. So now, now that I have my message finalized, I'm going to go back to the advanced tab. And you'll see that that message has been updated in both of the two example rows. However, the amount is not filled in. Name we used. Name. So it got filled in with user. We're going to change this to Jane. And this one we're going to change to Fred. And here you can see a change to Dear Jane, Dear Fred. And then there are amounts. are here. So Jane gave 1,000, Fred gave 2,000. So to do this, all you have to do is say what you're replacing. We're replacing AMT with 1,000. We're replacing AMT with 2,000. And you could do that up to four times. So we could add another replacement key, maybe their favorite color. I know this is a silly example, but hopefully it uh, makes sense. And there we have it. Uh, we're not going to use the fourth replacement key. Most clients don't. If you have needs for more than four, we can walk you through that process as well. That is really the system in a nutshell. Now, what I'm going to do is I have Jane here. So I'm going to make sure this note goes to Jane. And this one goes to Fred Smith. And then you would just fill in the information. To add more rows to this spreadsheet, you really want to copy what you already have. So we're just going to copy row 3. And then I'm going to paste it into rows 4 through 16. And that way I copy that formula too, because that formula in cell Q is really the most important part. So if you have a lot of people you're sending this note to, you're going to want to copy down as many rows as you have that formula so that the entire system magically works. 
a really important part of doing your bulk upload is making sure you save on the right tab. As we're using the Advanced tab, we want the Advanced tab to show and then hit Save. If we were using the Basic tab, we'd want the Basic tab to be showing when we hit Save. This tells the system what tab to use for our upload. I'm going to go ahead and click Advanced and hit Save as we're using this tab. I'm now going to close my spreadsheet. I'm going to go ahead and upload that file. And it's going to upload the data. It will offer me the option to add those recipients to the address book. I don't need to do that right now. I can choose my send date. I can choose my handwriting style. Like before, I can include a gift card and I can add an additional insert such as a business card, which I will go ahead and do. I'll just hit add to basket and there you go. Our notes are here and ready to go. Now, one thing to note is if the preview for a bulk upload doesn't look great, don't worry. We know these are bulk, bulk uploaded and we'll make sure they look fantastic before they go out. Don't pay too much uh, regard to that C preview on a bulk upload. Uh, as before, you do have the option to do a special request for handwritten. Type whatever note you need in there or just let us know we're doing a great job. Now we're just going to go ahead and order the bulk and your notes will go out. And that's it you've just mastered bulk uploads. One more topic we will cover in a different video is how to link up existing data to the bulk upload spreadsheet. If you have data that comes in in a specific form and want to easily upload it into our system, we have a whole system for doing that and we will be happy to walk you through it in a future video. Thanks so much. Bye-bye for now.